Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 9, Episode 8. This is the semifinals. We get to see all the winners of their episodes compete against each other. Let's get started. And please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe because this has been a lot of fun recapping these episodes. You can watch these whole episodes on Prime Video. Here is our first contestant. It's weird to say contestant, let's say artist. Instead, this is her self-portrait. Really kind of moody and soft and nice perspective from above. I really enjoy this. It has a lot of kind of electricity with the greens and the oranges. And here she is with her self-portrait. Yeah, there's something really, a nice creation of space there. This is, this is going to be a really good field. I'm excited about this. Now, now we're going to look at the painting that won her episode. It was this one. I really, really did like this one an awful lot. And that is music pages um, behind the shoulder there. At first, I, I wasn't sure and thought it was there as a design element, which it, you know, to some extent it is. You have to decide if you're going to use it or not. I think it was used very well there to describe space. Here is the person who I strongly feel was recruited for this, not only for her episode, but for the program in general, because she appeared the year before and did very, very well. And then to see her here, I thought, oh, I think she was asked back. She always does a really beautiful job and leaves a lot of white space around her work. I find her work to be very, um, as if she's using the, the um, paintbrush as a pencil. She's very accurate. Look at how relaxed the form is there. This is the painting that she did to win her episode. And the person, I believe, chose this one as well to go home. So I think, I think she's an extremely strong uh, painter in this competition. Here is the, our third painter. I really don't like the self-portrait. I said that in his episode as well, and I, I, I don't have good reasons for not liking it. I don't know what's wrong with me about that. It's not his fault. It's, it's not you. It's me. Now, on the left, we see his self-portrait, and on the right, we see the painting that won his episode. Both are very, very strong and very, very confident. And both absolutely have a, um, you know, he's clearly, you can recognize him in the painting and on his episode, you could recognize the sitter as well. So he's able to capture the likeness. So I think he's a strong contender too. There we go. That's a little bit a better screen catch of, of what he did on his episode. I, I, I find him to be an exciting painter. Let's see who our th next contestant. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give in. I'm gonna end up saying it. This is. This is beyond, isn't it? Oh, how dreamy that is, floating in water. How in focus her face is, and how then, you know, the space around her kind of drifts away in terms of being as descriptive. And I, I just love that balance. So remember, on their self-portraits, which is on the left, they had all the time in the world to work on, and then the one on the right is what they. The painting they did to win their episode and they only had four hours. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting on the right. I mean, that's really exciting. It doesn't have as much detail as her self-portrait, but clearly show, shows that she can get the job done. It reads well from far away. There's a lot of color in her neutrals. She's not relying just on brown and black. There's a lot of orange and pink and uh, really, uh, I could get excited about her. This one, I, uh, first of all, you put a wrench. I mean, come on. I, I love when, I love to see how people are creative when they decide how to represent themselves. I don't know what the wrench represents uh, on on the bottom, but but it's but I really like it, and I I, I like that how he's cut the the spaces up, and um, so I think he's a good designer. Also you know, clearly looks like him. Not all the self-portraits are necessarily done recently. That might be an older self-portrait. We don't know. Oh, here you can see the wrench. It looks a little bit more like it was on a table in some way. Or, oh, I see. It's a shelf and then a mirror. Who knows? That's my best guess. Anyway, on the right, we see what he did in the four hours. It almost looks like he had more time on the one on the right than he did on the one on the left. 
But I think that just has to do with the color choices. He was very bold with his color choices on the right. And I'm in agreement with him. That's, that's an exciting piece. And did have a resemblance to our sitter. So w once again, we have really, really strong field here. Any one of them could win and do a really beautiful job. Now the next one up, I, I am a little bit in love with this painter, I have to say. I've done a little bit of a deep dive and tried to contact them as well. Um, he teaches art in the um, western part of the USA. I find his color so exciting and almost like... Um, Oh gosh, what do I want to say? Well, it's it's high key, and I do like high key paintings. High key means that you 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 have more more tendency toward lighter range, but then that's balanced with the darks that he uses. I I really uh, I looked at more of his paintings. He really explores space in different ways. Doesn't necessarily complete up something so that it it shows every bit of description, but but I find him to be a really exciting painter. And here's our next one. This is one that he did to win his heat. Uh, I just, I, this, this guy just blows me away in terms of his, his color choice, his color and design choices, just as simple as that. I would love to speak to him and I would also, um, you know, if you Google his, his name, you can go and look at the gallery that represents him. I just suspect he's, one of these artists who's extremely busy when that's that's great but i'm going to be following him because I, I he just he excites me here's the next one oh this is beautiful too isn't it wow look at that huh it's funny how the self-portrait kind of mirrors what she's doing with her body as she holds the painting i don't think that was planned it just sort of happened that way here's the painting that she did that won her episode and this i was really really impressed with this painting because Generally in the program, you have to decide if you're going to do the head or the body. She did the head, the body, the chair, and the. it was like a marionette that was on the um, table next to her. And I love the use of that kind of orange uh, cloth, let's say, hanging off the side of the chair there. It's so important against the blue. That was just so thoughtfully done. She really created a lot of space. This is, I always say this, one of the small... Um, really accurate piece comes up. Wow, what a gem. That's just a gem. I love small paintings like that and have quite a collection of them here all grouped together to make like a pretty big wall statement. Here's the painting that she did to win her episode, which is quite different than her self-portrait. She's, she's looser here and I think that probably if she had had more time she would have started to kind of dig in and put in the kind of details she did in her self-portrait, but they're just there just isn't time. And it did look like the, um, like the model. So this is our field. They're all really, really great painters. So I'm going to not be upset about who wins. I do have my favorites and hashtag Joe is always wrong. I know my favorites aren't going to win. Our model today is Rebecca Ferguson and she is a, she's a Swedish actress. And she came in this amazing, beautiful sequin gown. I mean, she just presented like a queen. I mean, the way she held her head, the way she was dressed, everything about her was just sort of, I don't want to say theatrical, but because um, I, I just think she's a very, very self-contained, aware person of, of both her persona and how she appears on stage. So I'm not surprised to find out she's an actress. And also, you know, incredibly beautiful, the boot. Now, they, four hours in, the artists turn their easels around. Remember, they've had four hours. That means two hours painting, one hour for lunch break where they can paint as well, and then two hours after. There's just a broad look at what the judges have to look at. And also, Rebecca is going to pick one of these to go home with her. And that is, of course, an honor, but does not have anything to do with the final judging. The final judge, the judges themselves are the ones that decide who's gonna win this program. So here's our first one. And remember, three of these people are going to go on to the next episode, which will be the uh, finals. So, wow, look how powerful that blue is. Now, there's a lot of blending going on here, which typically I don't like because it 
to me it ends up looking a little bit like poster art but this is so accurately done and so sensitively created that that I, I'm sold I'm absolutely sold and boy does this nail the likeness wow yeah so she's the one remember she had that swimming pool painting oh that's just beautiful and so impactful from far away as well you know it doesn't have a lot of painterly stuff going on and it doesn't have lost and found edges but that's that's my stylistic preference but boy did she come and get the job done now this one this one excites me more because it just has more interesting color effects going on look at her earring for example see the orange underneath that earring that is a real moment that is a moment where you spend a lot of time paint, painting or observing and then you go into what's called to me it's like hyper seeing and suddenly you start seeing reflections and things that you just don't see it's almost like a, a combination of seeing and feeling the warmth that would have been right there on her neck and that I, I'm not saying you know if you take it away it doesn't mean it's a, it's it's still a good painting if you take it away but she's made those kind of decisions throughout so it's a very exciting image to look at and there are some lost and found edges so it looks a little bit more like the figure is emerging from the canvas as opposed to being done somewhere else and painted on top I find that kind of exciting when it comes to painting because I feel like it's it's um it's so carefully observed and so care such so many decisions had to be made to make that a, a really great painting which is different than accuracy so she made some substitutions she didn't just paint what she saw she also interpreted how light, how um, warm and cold some an area was, and, and then showed us that in color. Here's the next one. Now this is very different from what we've seen so far. Um, I'm not so sure it resembles a model, and I don't know that that matters because this is the kind of style that isn't about um, complete accuracy. It's more about forms overall, and and um, kind of the joy of juicy paint, and you know it's um I'm not sure what to say about it I mean it's, it's an absolutely beautiful painting and sometimes I think in watching this program I can get too caught up in you know were they accurate did they get the did they describe the model well enough and then I think yeah but besides that is a good painting and then I fall down and say oh man this is this is a really good painting and maybe that matters more than anything we pull away I don't think it's as impactful from far, far away and that can happen yeah and um, no everything that the, that she's done here is really important so it's stylistically is it yeah I'm gonna say pass it's it's a really good painting here's the one who um, this one kind of doesn't quite work for me it's not that it doesn't work because a lot of it does it's does it, if I squint my eyes yeah it definitely works if I squint my eyes everything's there that needs to be there that describes the roundness of forms but for some reason when you pull back from it it seems almost spotty in some way and I'm not sure why that is you know it could be running out of time oh no there we go that pulls together pretty well it's a little rough and ready huh I'm not sure but I haven't been a huge fan of of his work on this program overall oh they passed up so many people who who um who I felt were better painters but oh boy I'm, I'll be sorry I said that probably now here's the fellow I was so excited about the colorist oh my gosh and I do love the color of all this look at the orange popping out in certain places there's so much warmth coolness balanced by warmth that's going on here I, I really really like this piece but I don't think it's it's exciting as the work that I see um in the gallery that represents him or in the work that he's done prior to this I think there might have been a little bit of nerves at play here but look at this moment sometimes a painting has a moment that just makes you oh I fell in love with this moment look at that the red under the shoe against the green of her dress oh 
You know, that's an exciting, exciting moment. Sometimes you just have to fall in love with the moment of, of a certain spot in a painting and that's, that's all you need. Wow. But admittedly, something just doesn't have the same spark that it did when um, in his other submissions. And I'm just gonna say, you know, it's exhaustion and pressure and all the things. I would move him forward but I don't think the judges are going to. Now, we, as I said earlier, I do believe that this person was recruited to be on the program, so I think she's the front runner. Once again, she's been very consistent in her style, which is creating forms really by drawing with a paintbrush and then leaving a lot uh, unsaid, a lot of white canvas. And usually I find that disturbing because it's not anchored in, but, but it is anchored in by the dress. She's not floating in space. Uh, yeah, I wish it, kind of wish it had more, more paint on it. Oh, anyway, it's her style. It's a consistent style. They really love it. I don't love it or not love it. It's more that there's other things I love more, <laughs> but, but they don't care what Joe McKenzie has to say. So, uh, uh, I already strongly think she's going to win the program. Also, if you watch these program, this program for a certain amount of time, you start to notice when they spend more time with somebody or give someone more camera time than someone else. And so I could be leaning toward that bias. I kind of realized, oh, there we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of images here, whereas sometimes they'll just very briefly show you like two images of something and then, you know, they're, they're gone. So, uh, I think this person is a strong contender. This one does not look as much like our model. Uh, quite stiff, you can see that. Just isn't as strong as some of the other people in the field. Now, if this wasn't a competition and someone showed me this painting, I'd say, man, that's great. But we're in a competition. And I also want to say, I don't say anything in these recaps that I don't say about my own paintings on a regular basis. I am quite brutal with my own work and am known to rip up a lot of things because I cannot, I don't have a tolerance for, for um, if it doesn't meet my standards. So I'm, I'm not treating anybody any different than I treat myself. Oh, it's the wrench guy. Oof, all right, he got nervous because this doesn't really look like his other work to me. This is, this is a much tighter, piece of work than he's done up till now. So this is nerves. This is nerves and a really difficult. Remember you got TV lights, short amount of time, you got to travel from home. Oh, here's our next one. Well, that definitely looks like our model really, really well. It doesn't have a lot of color in it, but that's a choice. So, I'm, you know, it's a really great painting, but it's not as exciting as a couple of other ones I saw prior to now. Wow, look at that. There's something really fluid about how they're using their arm there. I love the big, you know, big arm gestures, not just from the wrist down, but you know, you gotta use your whole arm. Oh, she's the one with that small gem and was really loose in her the painting that won her heat. Wow, she's she's done a good combination of her two styles here. It's 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 tighter and uh larger and kind of wow, she came to play. Good for her. Now we will get into the part of the program where we get to see which one Rebecca picks to go home. And your guess is as good as mine. I would have a hard time, but I have a couple of favorites. Let's see. Oh, see, she picked the guy that I'm kind of a little in love with. Let me clarify, I'm not in love with him. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about <laughs> his work, the color that he uses in his work, the choices he uses in his work. Yeah, I find that a really exciting piece. I know, I, I, I know there are two ways of looking at it, but his use of color is, to me, really exciting. Now the actual judging begins. Now the judges are gonna pick three people to go on to the semifinals, and this must be nerve wracking beyond belief. Oh, I couldn't take it. So from a distance, we see all the contenders who painted today. And we've already looked at their paintings and shortly we're going to find out which one the judge which three the judges choose to go on. They will go on to paint 
two things in the next episode. They will paint a final model, and the winners are, and they will also paint a commission. Here we go. Okay, no surprise there, right? We saw that coming from <laughs> season nine, episode one. I think she was, that was our winner. And uh, yeah, I mean, this was destined from a long time ago, but that's based on not what I know, but based on kind of the editing and that she was invited back so fast. It just had to be, oh, you'd love this one. Well, this is, um, I'm really excited to see more of her and I'm really, really glad to have seen anything from her as well. I need to do a deep dive on her and see, see what she's up to because she's an exciting painter. I, I really would like to see more of, of what she does. And the next one is, oh no, I'll, I'll have to edit this because uh, somehow a slide didn't get in there that should have gone. Let's see, the next one should be coming up. I sure hope so. Oh boy, what did I do? Oh, okay, this is the third one. Uh, surprise, 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 surprise. Uh, well, that's this program. That's why I love the program, and that's why sometimes the program um, leaves me a little baffled. So those are our three semifinalists for the next episode. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, and mix for color. And I think we have an exciting field. And congratulations to all the artists. I'm sure it's a real boost to everybody's career. Everybody gets to know each other. I mean, it's all good. So... Keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.